Hello and welcome back to IME. Today we're going to be looking at how to multiply by two digit numbers. If you haven't done so already, look at the multiplication step one video which will teach you the method and how to multiply by one digit. For everybody who's already watched that video, make sure you have the worksheet that you can find in the description below and let's begin. Here we have the question 314 multiplied by 26. We're going to tackle this question just like we did with part one. We're going to put our place value columns down before writing our equation out. 314 on the top, 26 beneath, followed by the multiplication symbol to the left and ruling off to represent where our answer line will go. If you know how to do part one, you know that we aren't finished. You need to multiply all the digits in the top row by six. For this, I'm going to hide the 20. So you can see that is the exact same method as part one. So let's start. Starting in our ones, four multiplied by six, 24. The two, as you remember, is carried into the next column to be added onto our next calculation. And the four remains in the ones column underneath the answer line. Then one multiplied by six and not forgetting to add the two. Eight, eight placed beneath our answer line. And finally, moving into our hundreds column, three multiplied by six. Nothing was carried over, so it is simply 18. As there is no digit in the next column, I don't need to carry the one over, and I can immediately place it beneath the answer line in the thousands column, like so. If this was just multiplying by one digit, we'd be finished, but it's not. Remember, we have this 20. Now, we must multiply all the digits in the top row by 20. To make this easy, we place a zero in the ones column. Then all we need to do is multiply by two and place our product in the column, which is one space to the left. This is because even though we are multiplying by two in our heads, in reality, we are multiplying by 20. So as you can see, zero is in our ones column ready. Then we look in the ones, four multiplied by two, that is eight. We place this one column to the left of the digit we multiplied by. So we multiply by the four in the ones column. So we place this eight, one column to the left. Let me explain why again. Do you know what four times 20 is? Hopefully, you know it's 80. Can you see the product in the second row? It's 80, but all we've done was multiply four by two. But that zero, allowed us to actually multiply 4 by 20. It's a little trick that makes big numbers quite simple. Next, we multiply the 1 by 2, giving us 2, placing that 1 column to the left, here. Then, we multiply the 3 by 2, giving us 6, putting that 1 column to the left, here. Pretty simple, isn't it? The final step is adding both products together both rows. So, just like column addition, we start in our ones and work our way to the left. 4 add 0, 4. 8 add 8, 16. Just like column addition, we carry over the 1, 6 goes down. 8 add 2, add the 1, 11. Carry the 1 over again, place the 1 back down. 1 add 6, add 1, 8. And that's it. You're complete. The product of 314 and 26 is 8,164. Let me show you how I remember each step. Here is the question, 248 times 37. First I write down the equation like you were shown previously. Then I multiply all the digits in the first row by the first digit in the second row. To help me remember what I've already multiplied, I put a tick above the digit. Let me show you, 8 times 7. The answer is 56. Carry the 5 and place the 6 in the answer column. Tick the 8. Then I do 4 times 7, which is 28. I add the 5, which makes 33. Carry 3 and place the other 3 down beneath the answer line. Tick the 4. Finally, 2 times 7, 14. Remembering to add the 3 makes 17. Place 17 into the first row beneath the answer line. Tick the 2. The first row completed. Next row and multiplying by the 3. Put my zero down as I am technically multiplying by 30. Then 8 times 3, 24. 
Place the four in the answer row, one column left of the eight. Carry the two, tick the eight, then four times three, 12. Remembering to add the two, 14. Four in the answer row and carry the one, tick the four. Finally, two times three, six. Add the one, seven, tick the two. If you have remembered every step, you will have two ticks above each digit in the first row. Nice, I like that. It's a good way to remember that you've multiplied every single digit. But you forgot a step. Hopefully, everybody at home is realising that they forgot to add both products. Remember not to add anything that is in red that has been carried over during the multiplication. So, let's get started. 6 add 0, 6. 3 add 4, 7. 7 add 4, 11. 1 down, carry the 1. And 1 add 7 add 1, 9. Let's take a look at one more together. Here we have 396 multiplied by 38. The first thing I need to do is multiply the 6 by 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Put the 8 down, carry the 4 across. Then I take the 6, just to remember I've done it. Then 9 times 8, 72. Add the 4 that I carried, 76. 6 down. Carry the 7 across. Remember to tick the 9. And finally, 8 times 3, 24. Add the 7, 31. 31. I don't need to carry the 3 here because there's nothing in that column. Tick the 3. Now, all I need to remember is to place my 0 here to represent I am multiplying by 3 tens and not just 3. First, back to the 6, 6 times 3, 18. Carry the 1, and make sure I put that small so I don't end up counting that later. Tick the 6. Moving along, 9 times 3, 27. Add this one, and I'm going to cross it off so I don't forget. 27 add 1, 28, 8 down, carry the 2, remember to tick the 9. And finally, 3 times 3. That's 9. Add this 2. I can leave it, but I end up counting it. So I'm going to cross it off. 9 add 2 is 11. Tick. Now, to draw a line underneath, and I'm going to add to find the total product. Starting with 8 add 0. 8. 6 add 8. 14. Carry the 1. 1 add 8 add 1. 10. Carry the 1, 3 add 1 add 1, 5, and finally 1. Give me an answer of 15,048.